recording. We're here at New York Comic Con 2014 here with Diamond uh, Selects Zach Oat. And uh, we're going to take a look at a few of their mini meets, retros, and uh, Marvel Select. Uh, Zach, if you could just break, break down for us what we have here and show some of our viewers what, uh, what we're looking for. Sure, man. Just starting at the top, we're going to be doing the uh, retro line, which is going to be box sets of an 8 inch, of a 7 inch scale Mego style action figure. Plus, interchangeable heads and costumes so you can create different looks. So you can have the classic style Spider-Man and then you can have the modern, uh, more uh, more realistic, updated version. Uh, still a classic costume, but a more updated version. And then uh, yeah, an alter ego figure. Get we're that. Yeah, we're going to have Spider-Man. You can see the gift set in the back here, what's it's going to look like. Okay. This is pretty close to final in the set. And what's this going to be going for? It's going to be $80 for the set. Um, okay. It's the only way we could uh, make the deal happen. Uh, you know, obviously, the Mas Marvel has a Master Boy licensee, so anything you do in addition to that is going to be you know, subject to some restrictions. So, but this is what we're able to do, and uh, we're hoping that the Negro fans will like it. Right, right. Um, so after that, it's going to be Captain America, and it's going to come with a more realistic costume, plus the Steve Rogers uh, alter ego group, Army uniform. And then we're also going to do uh, Wolverine. He so just showed up today. Uh, so we created a 70s-style Wolverine. Uh, with the classic have, brown costume? Well, the, the, uh, this, is the original? this was made to look like it was going to be a Amigo figure from the 1970s, although he never had one, so we had to create it from scratch. He's going to have a removable mask as well. Uh, the brown costume will bring not a removable mask, it's going to be an interchangeable head and costume to go on this body. And then uh, the logo, interchangeable head. And, uh, and, and the signature jacket. leather jacket? Yeah, the signature leather jacket. And then up here on top, you can see Thor, uh, who's going to be our fourth set. So we're going to do a couple different looks for Thor, and I believe a Don Blake figure, a uh, costume and head to go along with. Okay, cool, cool. And down here we have the Mini Mates, which uh, this, this is uh, from where? Well, this is uh, this particular is our next box set for Toys R Us. Okay. Uh, this was a fan choice box set we had fans vote on. Uh, this is Toys R Us exclusive? This is a Toys R Us exclusive. So it's based on Infinity. It's going to have Cap and Thanos and Thane and uh, Armored Hulk. Uh, this series we just debuted, this is Series 60. Uh, it's going to be coming out uh, very end of the year, early next year. And it's the uh, Strike Force from Uncanny X-Men 275 uh, versus Four Brothers. And there's also going to be a lot of interchangeable parts so you can make different members of the Strike Force. But then if you want, or you can buy multiple sets to make them all. I see you got Gambit and Psylocke, right? Yep, the Gambit and okay. Psylocke parts will come with Banshee and Storm, and the, the Forge, Forge parts will come with Wolverine. Okay. And each one of the X-Men will come with a member of the Brotherhood. And each of them have some interchangeable parts for alternate looks as well. Like Avalanche has a different chest piece you can put on. Uh, blob, you can go uh, no wristbands and bare feet. And Destiny, uh, her mask comes off, you can see her, her eyes. And uh, she has a hair piece you can put And how about right here, the uh, all new x -Men. Yeah, that's Series 59. Those are actually just hitting now. So you can get those in Google Comic Shop or online. And that's, uh, you know, the classic team, Rock of the Future, with their new jumps. Watch out, I'm trying to get them all. Uh, yeah, the new uniforms that they got. And there's also Sentinel in that series. And there's a rare variant, uh, Bobby Drake. Uh, 58, which is the Days of Future Past stuff in the movie, that hit as well. So that's how it works. And our Series 57, which is Guardians of the Galaxy, just hit as well. So you can get all those comic shops now. This is another box set we which is uh, another Marvel zombie set. Uh, or zombie villains, rather. So it's going to be Kingpin, Doctor Doom, Sabretooth, and Morbius. And now Morbius can either be uh, a living Morbius or it can be zombie Morbius. Zombie because Morbius. in the comic book, Morbius was disguised. Zombie Morbius was disguised as living Morbius. And uh, we've also got another set coming out, which is classic x Greg Capullo-style costumes, Cable, Shatterstar, Domino, and Cannonball. Uh, uh, Cannonball, Shatterstar, Cable, and Domino. Uh, and it's Cable. I'm looking forward to seeing those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Capullo cable. And he'll come with an alternate goateed head. And uh, I love the Capullo costumes. We all, we've all loved the Capullo costumes. We got uh, cannonball blasting. You can actually you know, stand on it or you can actually plug the, the base right into the bottom of his torso. And, have and he can fly off. Like These are the costumes everybody thinks of when they think of X Force. And uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we've got a, a bunch of cool stuff planned for next year for mini games, so movie based and, and also some other stuff. We're starting to TV, but we have a lot more comic stuff as well. Okay. Oh. And uh, down here we have Marvel Select, uh, Carnage, and Cable. I know uh, I'm definitely looking forward to these. What, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about those, Zach? Sure, we just solicited Cable. Uh, so Cable is able for, available for pre order right now. Um, Carnage is going to be solicited at the end of this month. Okay. Um, Cable uh, was a uh, uh, Phil Ramirez sculpt. 
uh, digital, and uh, he comes with a whole bunch of guns. He's got the two holsters with the big pistols. Uh, one of them is uh, currently on the ground next to him. He's got uh, this rifle that mounts on his shoulder, and he, or he can hold it. And then he's got this big uh, light rifle that's uh, vaguely uh, reminiscent of some of the old Liefeld rifles in there with the, uh, the ovoid shape, uh, very distinct as what he did. Uh, uh, he's going to be pretty articulated. Uh, you know, we're doing a standard 16 point on most of our figures, but you guys use it different ways depending on what the figure needs. Okay. People have been asking a lot about torso articulation. Uh, I think I got to break it to him now with all that gear on. I don't think you're going to be seeing any okay. mid torso stuff, so I, I would just assume on the, that there's not going to be any mid torso for uh, a guy like this. Regardless, it still looks great with all the harnesses. Thank you. All his gear. He has a pistol and uh, holster on the small of his back as well, and also a knife. Uh, knife. How about Carnage? Carnage, this is by Gene St. Jean. He sculpted the classic Venom. And this is that we went with the same sort of structure, which is uh, interchangeable parts. Uh, the blade hands, the spear, and the axe can be interchanged for claw hands. Uh, you can see the interchangeable heads here. I believe this is from Carnage versus Venom. Somebody else gave a different series, but it's a more modern Carnage head. Okay. As opposed to the classic Bagley style. And Look, then, uh, it's a little bit like Max, Maximum Carnage in uh, one of the new storylines, I believe. Yeah, I, I think this uh, Maximum Carnage looked a little bit more like this. This might be more. Uh, more subsequent series, but the Cletus Cassidy head as well. And uh, the tendrils will be um, able to plug into different holes on the body. Okay. Some of them will be um, wire posable long tendrils like this, and some of them will be more sculpted uh, web tendrils, uh, symbiote spatters like this. Um, that will not be wire posable. Okay. So different, a uh, couple of different kinds on there. And he's, as you see, he's pretty articulated. The, 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 the venom was pretty articulated, and the carnage was pretty articulated as well. And it'll, venom match, is a masterpiece. And it'll match the size with the venom and all the other figures, uh, right? Yes, depending on who's drawing him, Carnage is different sizes. Some people think of it as being smaller than Venom. Um, uh, I think the heights look like they're going to be pretty comparable for Carnage and Venom, but we did slim down the body, to make a slimmer body for him. It's all new sculpt, it's not a reused Venom body. Okay. It's a, but there's a slim down uh, torso, so it gives a little bit thinner and more wiry. Yeah, we're going to be putting out uh, the Ninja Turtle Mini Mates uh, at a couple different locations. We're going to be doing blind bags at specialty stores, as well as blind bags at uh, uh, Kmart stores. Uh, we're also going to be doing two packs of Toys R Us. Okay. Um, the first four, the first series has four turtles. Um, April O'Neil will be at some locations. Uh, Shredder and the Foot Soldier and the Foot Bob will be at all the locations. And uh, there will be a Krang that's only available at Kmart. Only at Kmart. Uh, only. And April will be at specialty stores. Uh, but keep an eye for those. There's also a Chase figure in every song, which is uh, uh, one for Chase, the uh, translucent version of the different turtles. So okay. Toys R Us has Leonardo, uh, uh, Kmart has Michelangelo, and especially for Raphael. All right. Um, and where can we look forward to picking all this stuff up? At? Uh, uh, those I mentioned uh, everywhere. Uh, they're going to be at Specialty Stores. It's the most the place you can find on comicshoplocator.com. Okay. Uh, some of our chains, some different chains here, like Hastings, uh, carry stuff. But uh, the Ninja Turtles will be in a lot of different places, including the uh, market. Uh, the comic stuff I choose a lot of that specially only. Series 60 specially only. The retro figures are specially only. Uh, and uh, the box, next Force box set is specially only as well. But that Infinity box set will be a Toys R Us. Okay. Look forward to seeing all your stuff. I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. Love you. Happy Hunting. Oh, wow. Ultimate Toy Collector.